Hello YouTube, how are you doing? It's Will from Apt Attack and today I'm going to do a full review of PaySpot. Now as you can see it's a very elegant application of how easy and how simple it looks. As you can see here on the front screen when you enter your application you will see you have your clipboard and your folders. So you have a limitation on the clipboard, basically you have 200 folders, for instance text, images and videos. Um, if you want to save them you can make your own folders, I'll show you that in a second. And here you have your settings of your sync, for instance sync of your Mac, I'll show you that in a second. And you have your background render, so if you want to you know, copy something, it will render in the background, um, so it won't make you go on the application all the time. Uh, you have import locations, so if you are somewhere and you want to put your location, you can do so by here. You have your sounds and the tech links, and a bit more uh, about support and about. Now, as you can see here, you're going to go and press clipboard so you can get your, um, you know, recently copied, um, you know, text. So as you can see here, it looks very simple to use. If you click on to the actual uh, item, for instance, the notes, you'll have this sort of really nice uh, look at the view. Basically, you'll have your settings, uh, your sort of like bit more, um, you know, you know, filter. So basically, you're going to get your quote, uh, quote lines, and so on and so forth. Uh, I don't really go into that much really to an issue, I'll just go on it to sync with Mac and more on you. Here you have your ca uh, character account, so if you want to ca uh, copy it to your Twitter you can do so. Your share, so you can paste it to your Mac. Uh, search via Google, send, send as email or send as text message. So that's really nice indeed. If you wish to go in a bit more further you're just going to press that arrow and the arrow will take you into the note itself. So as you can see here it looks very simple to use, just like any notes on the iPhone for instance, the notes taken. Um, here you just have your filters again. You have your um, what do you call it? Your uh, you know your send button. Basically, you paste your Mac obviously a second ago, and also your bin, so you can bin it if you wish to do so. Just like so, and it's gone. Uh, if you want to add anything, you just copy. You just basically copy anything from anywhere. Um, I'm gonna go and press edit, and gonna bring up a new uh, not a new text. Should I say sorry. So you see, I'm gonna do a new text clip image from camera or image from library. I'm gonna text image, and I'm gonna go and put hello. Hello world. Sorry, let me put world. Let me put world properly. <laughs> As you can see, I've done that. A bit hello world. If you want to add a title, you can do so by pressing add a title. Uh, this is me. Like so. Once you're done, press save, and it's done, and it's copied, and it's ready to go for your Mac. Now here you can see my iMac is on the screen right now, and you can see if I'm going to hold this down, it pastes it to my actual iMac. Now how clever is that? As you can see, that says Hello World. Um, if you use your iPhone, for instance, copying and pasting through and forth, uh, through and, and throughout, shall I say, sorry. Anyway, as you can see, I'm going to go back. I wish to copy an image, I can do so by basically going to my, uh, what do you call it, uh, photos. And then I go and press my camera roll. And then I go here. And then I go and hold it down and press copy. Once that's done, I'm going to double tap. And then I go back to my paste spots. You can hear that noise, it's going to go and tell me that it's already copied to my iMac. So if I want to go in a bit more editing on there, I can do so by pressing like that. Press filters, and you can make it a bit more interesting. Basically, you have your brightness, convert to black and white, invert uh, saturation and sepia. So it's really great indeed, so you can just edit the way you wish to. So like so, I can save that like that. Then we're done. So it's got really cute sounds to it, I guess. Uh, if you want to add a name to it, you can do so by pressing edit, and you're going to press Mario, like so, if I can get the name right, Mario, and it's done there like so, basically it's exactly the same as, um, you know, basically, uh, you know, text that it, just hold it down, and it should add it to the iMac, if it doesn't do it the first time, then it's probably because it's syncing to your iMac as it's an actual far image, so as you can see there, now it's actually added to my iMac, make it more bigger so I can prove it to you, as you can see, it's already done to my iMac. So what if I have something on my iMac, for instance, let me just go and type um, this, this is, this is my iMac, for instance, this is. So if I say I want this to be on my iPhone, instead of my iMac, do I, you know, can I do it? Well, basically, yes, you can, if you just go there and press copy, bang, it's on to there already. So it's on your iPhone as it's seen on the iMac. So it's really, really, really great to use, you know, this application. It's so simple and very fast to use. So what if, for instance, you know, you know, how do I get this to sync, for instance? Now, that is more simple than said and done. You go on the website, you download this for free, 
uh, and basically it downloads and goes into your system preferences, it goes in paste spot sync, so basically it's just like um, you know any other application you have on your iMac and it's going to go this really simplistic you know uh, review here. So it gives you the text copies, it gives you image copies, uh, data sent and data received, so it gives a bit of history of what's happened and statistics and what have you. Yeah, note me when the updates are available so you can software updates. Uh, show pass, uh, sorry, show paste spot sync status in the menu bar. For instance, when it syncs, it shows you, um, you know, it's rendering basically. You can have it on or off if you wish to do so. Or if you want to remove the device, you can do so for another iPhone or iPod Touch, like so and so. Unfortunately, it's not for the iPad just yet, unfortunately. But then again, they'll probably update it in a later version. But anyway, that's the application of Payspot, and I hope you really enjoyed this applica uh, you know, application review. Anyway, my full review will be on my website very soon, um, and I really do hope you enjoyed the review. Anyway, I hope to see you in my next future videos, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.